So chances are you've already seen this demo on the OEmbed product page, but let's just review it really quick. Here, I've used OEmbed to embed quite a few different services directly onto my web page. And here I have a Twitter feed that kind of scrolls through all my latest tweets. Here I have a Facebook post. Um, next up, we have an Instagram post, which is fully interactive. This is a slideshow. Videos work as well, but it's really, really great. You can actually have people log in and actually add comments directly from your website. Um, now, just to show you, we can do other things other than social, right? Here is actually a GitHub um, embed. So I'm actually embedding a GIST from GitHub. Um, so a snippet of code directly on my page. And uh, further down the page, I'm embedding a Giphy and also a YouTube video. And this is just a small sampling of what we can actually do with OEmbed. So implementing OEmbed is super easy. You drag and drop it onto your page. And if we look at the settings here, all you need to do is put in the URL that you want to embed. So in this example here, I have my Twitter profile. Now, if you notice that Twitter profile, it actually scrolled. And that was done because we can actually define a max height directly inside OEmbed, and it will automatically scroll that content to the height that we defined, right? And we can also define small, medium, and large sizes um, so that we can actually vary the height based on the size of your browser window. Now, in the case of this Facebook post, the actual post actually didn't go to the entire width of the column. So what we can do is when embeds like are like that, we can actually have control over the alignment. So in this particular example for that Facebook post, I wanted it center aligned. But depending on what you want, you might want it left or right aligned as well. So if we look at that same demo, but in one column, we'll see that this Facebook post, it actually doesn't you know, stretch out. So OEmbed actually, you know, does that alignment for us so it can center align the content. Here, this Instagram post is going to be left aligned. But some other things such as Giphy and YouTube, what OEmbed does is it intelligently scales the embed so that it actually fills the entire width of the container. Now, there's one important setting here for supply default content. And when you check this, this allows you to actually supply, you can build out your own stack data that will be displayed before the embed is actually added to the page, as well as this content is displayed if there's any errors with the embed. So if maybe Facebook embeds are currently down, you can actually maybe display a link to your Facebook account or something like that. So that, you know, there's always some sort of content to be displayed, whether or not the actual embed is able to be embedded or not. So the biggest question with OEmbed is what URLs can I embed? What is supported and what's not? Well, go no, go no further than look at embed.ly. And this is a company that actually supplies a service for essentially what OEmbed does, right? But obviously this has a monthly fee and Asia has its own branding and you have none of that with OEmbed, right? But they've done a lot of legwork with this providers page that actually documents over 700 websites and various URLs for each website that we can actually use to embed directly using the OEmbed stack. For example, if I go ahead and search for Facebook and let's go ahead and click on this Facebook, you'll notice that it actually gives us some URL schemes that are actually supported by Facebook. So this, um, they have this for every single service so you can get an idea of what types of URLs are actually supported for that particular website. So I hope you enjoy OEmbed. It is a really great, easy to use stack that has absolutely zero branding and runs 100% on your web browser.